Hello everyone. In this uh, second video, uh, we want we would like to to share that you know the work we finished in in the Toyota um, Orient 2010, which we already post one introduction video before that you can uh, look up in our YouTube channel. So uh, we already removed the faulty system. If you uh, could see. Um, the parts already uh, removed completely. Um, it was removed from the front, inside. There's a bunch of wiring, and um, there was even, uh, you know, um, hanging microphone over here, and um, also there was one hanging wiring of the cable down here for the USB. And we removed all of them. Um, they don't, they, they don't look good in the cabin for the driver and. Uh, it would bother the passenger as well or the driver when driving in the microphone here was definitely not the, the best position and not good looking and also we removed the reverse camera which actually um, the camera was mount uh, uh, you know um, with the very rushing style and the wiring on the camera was not uh, let's have a look so here you go this uh, the new camera is wearing now stay here like this so you would see that the new camera stay beautifully there and the wiring high underneath of the uh, number plate very well and also we put in the um, glue to uh, make the water seal for the um, camera wiring going into the car's tailgate um, before the the camera lies was fit through um, the body of the tailgate and um, they left a big hole without any cover without any glues um, and it you know just let the dust and the water coming in and also um, they pressed the wiring too hard and it bent and it cut the wiring inside as well for the camera and now that all problem they all sort and we fit in the new camera beautifully and uh, here you go we have the 9 inch full package of the wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto on the screen and you can see that we are using our Android phone to record this video when actually our phone is on the screen um, yep and it has two USB inside the car and it also connected via the steering wheel control so yep that's all about and if we actually push in the reverse camera um it will show up the camera right here like this and beautiful um now what it means with a slightly delay is that because when the car is not running when we pull the gear stick to the reverse you could see that um the the delay because the power start going into the reverse from around 10 and half and which is enough to trigger the head unit into the reverse mode but that is not enough for the power for the camera and the camera need to gather a bit more power until it get you know around 12 volt and it send the signal through um so when the car is running and uh, for a bit and and the power is enough it won't happen like that it just goes straight and instant that's very simple okay so that's about our system and uh, yep we would like to say thank you again for watching and uh, see you on the next one